I this is my two cents. That last one we did was fire, by the way, too. And this is my two cents, y'all. You ready for it? Ready. You know how this goes? No. Yes, you I do. I mean, I know. Okay, I know. okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> the first one is blue faced. So we saw what happened with him and his girl um, as far as them fighting on Hollywood Boulevard. Mm -hmm. You saw that video? I don't care to talk Something about it. Like I don't care to talk about that. Okay. I want to talk about the fact that he lost his boxing, uh, his boxing date. Not his debut, his boxing match over. This is a real boxing match like how uh, yeah, he PBS a, do? He had a real boxing match sanctioned. Uh, AZN Sports Platform and Misfit Like boxing. real boxing, a real boxing fight. Yeah, he was on the undercard. Oh, well, I understand. <clears throat> yeah, it's crazy. Look, you know you're going to go, it's all about image. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, the only look, thing look, look. is, if they would have kept him on, nobody would have knew. Well, I ain't gonna say nobody, but I damn sure wouldn't know. What? Cause about I, his boxing match? Yeah, I ain't, I wouldn't know about his boxing match, so I couldn't have been mad that he was on there. I wouldn't know about it anyway. It was like I a just promotion thought it was wild. Or what? I thought it was wild, uh, but I understood. Like I understood. I did see him swing at him. He did swing at him. Like he swung at him once, but but she he, said he, he walking away. Yeah, now nah, she denying it bro, and everything. Gotta, this don't seem bro, like enough. Put her in the, and I tried hard, and I put couldn't find the person like this fight. <laughs> you got to do something preventative, right? Something you can't just you can't break her jaw, bro. Like, yeah, bro. He you can't do that, boy. And then hopped on top of him. Like he could have hit her with the Stone Cold Stunner, anything. But right. you cannot break her jaw. Next topic. You saw that Will Smith apology? He apologized right. for the slap on Chris Rock. What'd you think about that? I thought that shit was cringeworthy. It didn't look. It is. It, it seemed so scripted. Um, it didn't look sincere. Yeah, it, he he didn't even look there. He looked like he was zoned out, just repeating, regurgitating shit, whatever they told him to say. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was cringe to watch for real. It was hard to watch for real. Man, I was kind of, I was just glad he finally put something out there. When they, when this happened, I was I, I was disappointed. Like, this don't seem like Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? The, as far as his track record shows, I ain't see that coming. And then seeing people say, like, that's how he's supposed to go protect his woman. I thought that was wild, too, thinking, knowing how little people think of, of us as, as men, like, to or us as men who have those kinds of women, that we supposed to go do shit like that. I, I thought little of that. But I, I, was I would agree something. with that. I would agree with that. But then I, I didn't make this shit up. I heard it somewhere. All right. Um... Somebody said, this is how you know a nigga that's really about that shit mm -hmm. and a nigga that's not. Watch his woman. Never pay attention to him. If his woman knows that he willing to take it there, willing to go there, she gonna try to stop him by all costs because she don't want to lose him. Yeah. But if he gets to turn it up and she just stands to the side and the cut just uh, instigating, she know, she know him really. And I think we Being really that. dangerous, like talking about. And I, I think we knew that that wasn't Will Smith. That's what was so surprising. That's what about it looked this. like, yeah. All right, next topic. Deshaun Watson got a six game suspension. A lot of people up in arms, but you almost predicted that. When you brought up uh, when you brought up Ben Roethlisberger, you said you didn't want to see nothing past six because that's what Big Ben got. What you think now? I wasn't going. I wasn't going to change my fans. I'm going to still say Ben Roethlisberger every time. Anytime that question is asked, the first thing I'm going to say is Ben Roethlisberger because he is the NFL darling for real. They and you know him off with the most warmest of, of love when he just retired and all that shit, and this nigga was accused of rape. When you sit here and tell me, I don't give a fuck, I'm not saying that. If Deshaun did do it, I'm not saying it's right. Mm -hmm. I'm saying he deserved to be punished and all of that. But when you sit here and have uh, uh, getting erect, Versus actually Wait. raping somebody, two cases of rape. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to hear a conversation when you're trying to compare those two. That's not the same. There's no way you can compare those two. Yeah, yeah Deshaun is wrong, but I'm not. No, nah, look how we treated the guy who this who is raped two women. This is why he actually got that though. It's because the judge who looked at the facts in this case said that they was egregious, and if she could, she would have given him more. But judges are used to looking at a uh, set precedent. They don't. They don't tend to change. They be reluctant to change. Precedent. I would have bought that. I would have bought that if they would have just went with what the judge said. The judge had to set precedent. The only reason why I can't buy that because they're appealing now. They're appealing it and going back. So it ain't really about 
uh, the equal, equal it was size about it. him checking to see what the what the temperature on that kind of judgment was exactly. so that he can come behind it and change it. And now that judge shit not gonna matter no more. It's gonna happen like this every single time something happens. Yeah. Watch. So so that that's not even an argument no more. You can't even use that shit. Next topic though, can black people be racist? I think black people can be um prejudiced. Okay. I think racism is a systematic thing. Okay. That's I think when we talk about racism, we talk about red line. How they treat you when it's time to go to college or when it's time to get a job based off your skin color, your name, how your hair look, the way you dress or present yourself because of your culture. Right. You know what I'm saying? So in other words, <laughs> well, nah, you know what? That was that was well put. Cause actually, I was about to say, well, yeah, I was about to say, yes, black people so can be some of the racist people. I, I, I've oh seen. well, yeah, yeah, that's what I was but saying. But that when you put why, it that I'm, way, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I can change that to prejudice. Black people can be some of the most prejudiced. We don't have the uh, advantage of being racist. We don't control that that system. We'll we don't have no control in it. Okay, next topic. Uh, how serious is the monkeypox e- epidemic? That shit think? serious as hell, bro. bro that is crazy. That bro. shit. See what it that looks like? disgusting. Bro. Oh my god! And then you see how long it lasts, bro. Oh my. They talking god. about twelve I'm to fourteen days, yo, yo. If I I'm ever got that, that, bro. If I ever got that, bro, boys would not hear from me, see me. I'm scared of that. I'm gonna tell Did you. Did you see I'm the pictures time. of the lady that was at fifty one fifty, and she had one on her? So yes, I, only I can seen show you why we. Face. I can show you why we on camera, my boy. I only seen them on the face, yo. That shit look nasty. Okay. And they, I say they tried to convince us that it was only gay guys that was getting that, but now I yeah, see reports about oh, kids seen kids. and women. I haven't seen kids, but I definitely seen pictures of women. That's all I was about to say. It was a woman at fifty one fifty. She was in the club. Uh, so I think she had one on her arm and on her face, and one on her face. And I heard, I don't know how true this is, but I heard that. They management was aware and didn't want to kick her out because they didn't want to cause a big. Hell so, no. And somebody took pictures of it, like zoomed in, and you can see the pictures. So somebody knew, somebody yeah. saw it, and I, I got, I want to say, once somebody saw it, something like that, the word would travel quick. Check that out. Check that out. Yeah. And go across that shit to go around. You know what I'm saying? The room. Yeah. I don't know, bro. Okay. I don't know. Next topic. Mystical. Mystical got arrested for rape and um, domestic violence, aggravated assault. <clears throat> what you think about Mystical? Um, I w- I'm, I was surprised and not surprised. I'm surprised because he was charged with this before. Yeah. So, and he did jail time behind it. So, I'm not thinking, oh, he gonna come home and do that same shit again. That's what got me surprised. When I heard it, I'm like, oh, well, that's that nigga. He got to accuse this before. But I'm like, damn, he doing it. He got in trouble with the same shit again? Bro, this ain't the second or third time he didn't have these accusations. I, I was reading up on this. This dude is, this dude might be a serial predator. Like, that's this what I'm here saying. walking in the streets. That's rapping. what I'm saying. That's wild, bro. That's crazy. Like, fam. That's crazy. That is wild, bro. I think Mr. Cool is mystical let me not say that i'm not gonna say that okay bro you should say nah, it bro let me stop myself from saying some shit like nah, that you cut it out. let's go to the next time <laughs> miles bridges miles bridges played small forward power forward for the uh for the charlotte hornets mm-hmm. now he is uh he got dropped for the team for domestic bi- for domestic violence um altercation that happened between him and his wife and for uh assaulting his kids what you think about that um, it's probably something that has been going on for a minute. Yeah. And it's just He's only like twenty four years old. When you dealing with these kind of dudes and that kind of life, especially when they're big young, mm-hmm. they have all this built up energy and you know what Testosterone, I'm saying. Testosterone, they don't know what to do with it. They don't know what not only do they not know what to do with it, but everything is so about them. Everything yeah. is about self. And they don't know how to operate outside of that. Yeah. And then they tend to abuse anybody that they come in contact with. Not even just 
the spousal abuse. The spousal abuse can come physically, but they abuse different people mentally and emotionally because everything has to be about them. Everything in their, everything revolves around them. So anything outside of that, they get a defensive and attack. That's just how these. That's how celebrities are. Right. I want to talk about the uh, the fact that it's a national shortage. It's a national shortage on police officers and teachers. I saw a video that sparked this one. Um, there was a teacher on World Star talking about how he uh, quit his job and started working as a manager at Walmart, and now he he raised his annual income by twelve thousand dollars. What you think about the idea that there's a shortage on teachers and police officers? I think that's crazy as hell. Well, I would ask what his position at Walmart is, but I, either way, I think that's crazy as hell. But not only do I think that's crazy as hell because it's a teacher, but I also think it's crazy as hell because Walmart don't pay shit. So if he go to Walmart and make twelve dollars more than what he was making, no, twelve. I mean, twelve thousand more than what he was making as a teacher. What the fuck was he making as a teacher? Yeah, that's what Walmart I'm thinking. don't pay shit. That's what I'm thinking. And I think that's what was so alarming about it is because Walmart ain't known to just pay some exceptional uh, number. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You so fucking around and get minimum wage. What are they like? And I've always heard that teachers are underpaid. Remember, we had Miss Johnson on, and she kind of gave us insight to it, but we went other directions with that conversation. Um, yeah. But we did talk to about how teachers are underpaid, but I never did know those numbers. But the idea that he could go to Walmart, that's, that's crazy. Get paid. I, I believe that's what happened. He was a store manager there. He became a oh, store well. manager there. But a store manager at Walmart should not make more than who we put with our kids to educate them. We also we also need to trust them behind. I wouldn't be mad doors. if they made the same. Like if they both if they both was making. Let's say a, a, a store manager at Walmart and uh, a teacher was making 60000 both a year. I wouldn't be mad at that because of the work that a store manager has. It goes into running a Walmart. This is a yeah, I Walmart is a world of its own. I wouldn't downplay what a store manager so, got to do. So I wouldn't. Like, da- I, I wouldn't be mad if the if they both made sixty thousand. It should be. It should I'm mad that the store manager sixty thousand and the and teacher's teacher not forty or so. Yeah, that's what I would be mad at. But yeah. if they both made sixty thousand, I would be like, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. All right, next topic. Um, this week, earlier this week, the Dolphins were charged with tampering. They had two draft picks taken from them and was given a fine. Uh, what do you think of the Dolphins in their tampering charges? Did the did the league get it right here? I don't know, bro. Because when they say tampering, they saying that they were talking to, um, talk talking to Tom Brady. Right. I'm I'm not gonna say I see what was wrong with that. Tom Brady was trying to go be an owner. Yeah. I um. Uh, I wouldn't say I see nothing wrong with that. When when I say I want to see some repercussions for Miami, it's about look at what they did on the part where Brian Flores was saying they were suggesting that he lose games, throw games. Look at what they did on that part. Yeah. There was no real repercussions on that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. give a fuck about the other side of that. And the what about the real part? It's kind of laughable, too, considering they laughable. got two first rounders. So you took one of them? Not only that, but you find them thousands. These billionaires. <laughs> These billionaires. That was crazy bro. to me, too. That was crazy. If yeah. that number didn't even hit a million, they ought to be ashamed of themselves. But look, I want to talk about the conspiracy here that we was hearing about when it first happened. So this, so there was, there was noise that there was tampering going on that Tom Brady might have actually retired because he was trying to work out a deal to get close to Sean Payton, um, who had just retired from the from the New Orleans Saints. That's why that now, shit would have went hand in hand. Miami head. looks like Miami was caught talking to the both of them. Miami was caught talking to Tom Brady and caught talking to uh, Sean Payton um, at a time where they weren't supposed to be able to. Say so another thing that happened around this same time in the timeline was Brian Flores being fired after having a good year, over overachieving um, as far as what they expected of him. Mm-hmm. So Brian Flores looked like he had gotten fired for no reason. A lot of people said it shortly from the afterwards. From shortly the afterwards, he filed a lawsuit, a grievance, which I believe is the main reason why number one. 
they didn't end up hiring Sean Payton because they now they Brady could. going over there, yeah. And that's Number why Brady two, came back. As soon as Tom Brady came back out of retirement, though, you remember one other thing happened. Um, everybody didn't know what was going to happen. Tom Brady's retired, right? This Hanging news out with the broke when he came back. Yeah, but what else happened when he came back? As soon as he came back, Bruce Arians, the coach he won, went, went upstairs. He stepped down from his coaching job and went upstairs and put somebody else in place. I think Bruce Arians found out that he was trying to orchestrate a move to to re- either replace him with Tom, I mean, with Sean Payton, or to get out of going back to Tampa uh, to Tampa. Uh, Tampa Bay and playing for him right. so that he could play with Sean Payton, and I think it pissed him off. I but, can see that. But if he knew what was going on, if he knew that his team had tried to get Sean Payton in order to please Tom Brady, well then I know where the body's at now. You don't want me to tell the league or the public that you did this, right? So either so I'm not stepping down. I'll move upstairs and get a raise. I think that's what happened here. Yeah, for sure. Don't see my mama smile for they put me in 